Another loaded show coming your way on today's 49ers report, but first a programming reminder on Sunday for this divisional game against the Dallas Cowboys. We'll be going live as the 49ers look to punch their ticket to the NFC Championship game. We'll start our pregame show an hour before kickoff. I hope that you subscribe and join us. And if you haven't subscribed, you ain't alive. If you want daily Niners coverage, news, rumors, analysis, live shows and watch parties, lock us in and subscribe today to the best Niners coverage here on YouTube. Trying to get the 76,000 subscribers by the time that kickoff rolls around on Sunday. We're 420 people away. For those of you watching in Cali, you really like that number. So if you want to stay in the know with all things Niners year-round, subscribe. And with that, let's start today's show. Here we go. Let's get it. This is the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. Chase Sr. here with you. As for what we're getting into on today's show, a lot of buzz out there that Aaron Rodgers wants to play for the San Francisco 49ers. We have more Trey Lance trade rumors to get to as this continues to be one of the marquee storylines across the National Football League. And could the 49ers bring back a familiar face in Vic Fangio, who used to be the defensive coordinator for this organization under Jim Harbaugh, if D'Amico Ryans leaves for a head coaching opportunity. But we begin with Aaron Rodgers, and we turn the clocks back to when young Aaron Rodgers, growing up in Northern California, Chico to be specific, was a San Francisco 49ers fan. Said a couple of interesting things on the Pat McAfee show on Wednesday, and there's growing buzz that if he has an opportunity to join the Niners this offseason, he is going to try to do just that. As for what he said to Pat McAfee, which has really drawn up some controversy and started some talking points, no surprise, Aaron Rodgers likes to be at the center of conversation. He said a couple of things here that we want to pass along, that he's not mentally or emotionally ready to make a decision on what he wants to do for this upcoming NFL season once the 2023 campaign rolls around. He added, is the right situation, quote, with the Green Bay Packers or somewhere else, I'm not sure. He also said if the Packers do, in fact, want to enter a rebuilding process, he does not want to be a part of that aforementioned rebuilding process by saying this. If they go younger and they think that Jordan Love is ready to go, then that might be the way that they want to go. And if that's the case and I still want to play, then there's only one option, right? And that's to go somewhere else. If it's not, and they, no, 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 we still want you to play, Aaron, and this and that, then it'd have to be the right situation with the roster that looks like we can win it all because there's no point in coming back if you don't think that you can win it all. So I'd say at this point, Aaron Rodgers' future with the Green Bay Packers is somewhat up in the air here. If I had my indication, if I had my guess, he'd come back for yet another season to try to make a run at a Super Bowl championship. But at 39 years old, you can see where Aaron Rodgers is coming from here. If I'm in his shoes, I wouldn't want to be a part of a rebuilding process either. We're talking about a guy who's coming off back-to-back -back MVPs before going into 2022. He's at the tail end of his career. If we're going to make a golf course analogy, 18 holes, he's probably on hole 15 right now, but he even admitted that he still believes that he can play at an MVP level. But for Aaron Rodgers, he wants to be in a position to win a Super Bowl, and if that's not with the Green Bay Packers, and they want to move forward with their young quarterback, who they drafted surprisingly in the first round, in Jordan Love, then it's time for them to look into the future without Aaron Rodgers in their plans, and it's time for Aaron Rodgers to try to explore other opportunities to see how he can win that sought-after second NFL championship, and the San Francisco 49ers are one of the best options for him to do that from a football standpoint. Aaron Rodgers' contract is pretty interesting here, and if you were to go to the Niners, it would cost a lot of money, probably making this somewhat unrealistic. Aaron Rodgers signed a three-year contract extension in March of 2022 worth a guaranteed $150 plus million, including nearly $41 million with this signing bonus. In 2023, Rodgers would earn a base salary of just over $1 million with a signing bonus of more than $58 million. And he would carry a $31.5 million cap hit and a dead cap value of $99.8 million. And with the 49ers wanting to pay Nick Bosa, wanting to extend potentially a Brandon Ayuk. They don't have a ton of money, so they'd have to find a way to free up that cash for Aaron Rodgers, once again making this somewhat 
unrealistic. But there does continue to be buzz, rumors, and speculation that he would like to play for Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. And from Aaron Rodgers' standpoint, why would he want to play with San Francisco? Well, Matt LaFleur comes from the Kyle Shanahan tree, and both him and Kyle Shanahan have similar offensive philosophies. So for Aaron Rodgers, there wouldn't be a huge switch in what Shanahan does offensively compared to Matt LaFleur. The 49ers right now have a loaded roster, and moving ahead, pivoting into the future, they're going to continue to have a loaded, Super Bowl-capable roster, and this would allow Aaron Rodgers to once again compete for a second Super Bowl. There are also questions across this division making it easy for the Niners to stack up wins and get a good playoff seating. What's going to happen with Sean McVay and the Los Angeles Rams? Kyler Murray just tore his ACL, and they have questions at that head coaching spot on top of quarterback. They could trade away DeAndre Hopkins and enter a rebuilding process. Are the Seattle Seahawks going to run it back with Geno Smith? We just saw with the 49ers beating Seattle three times, they're the far superior team as compared to Seattle, and the 49ers can continue to run the West. There are also ties for Aaron Rodgers to Northern California. He grew up in Chico. He was a Niners fan growing up, idolizing Joe Montana and Steve Young. He went to Butte Community College before going to Cal, and we know that back in the day, the 49ers had that number one pick. They could have drafted Aaron Rodgers. Instead, they went with Alex Smith. They passed up on Rodgers, which ended up being a big mistake, but maybe for Rodgers, he can come back to his childhood team. But Paying Aaron Rodgers that salary with the way that Brock Purdy is playing, I don't see or envision a scenario in which Aaron Rodgers comes to the Bay Area. I think San Francisco, they're going to move ahead with Brock Purdy and Trey Lance for much cheaper and much younger. Plus, Purdy right now is playing awesome football, and you'd be mortgaging your future financially by bringing in Aaron Rodgers. So the unlikely meter here is high, but it's going to continue to be a talking point across the National Football League. Coming up next... More Trey Lance trade buzz. This is something that we discussed on yesterday's show. And once again, it's going to be something that we're going to continue to talk about all throughout this offseason because there are a lot of quarterback needy teams. First, though, I want to give a shout out to today's presenting sponsor. It is Geology, award winning skincare, 70% off if you head to chatsports.com slash geology. Geology, a 16 time award winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in places like Men's Health, GQ, and Esquire. They create simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work. Right now, for a limited time only, they are hooking you up. The Niner faithful with an absolutely insane offer. If you use our code chatsports70 at chatsports.com slash geology or you scan that QR code on screen, they will give you that 70% off offer off their award-winning skincare trial set. When you talk about skincare, it should not feel like a gamble. Geology, the best in the skincare game, folks. Geology puts an end to darker, puffy under eyes, which some people rip me for in the comment section. Not anymore. Thanks to Geology, it helps you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles, and gives you smoother, hydrated skin. I've been using Geology's face wash in the mornings, their dark and puffy under eye cream, and the retinal night cream before going to bed. My skin looking and feeling great. So if you head to chatsports.com slash geology, scan the QR code on screen, or use our code chat sports 70 you get 70 percent off that link is available in the comment section and the description of this video and on top of 70 percent off you'll receive an exclusive bonus offer on one of their brand new skin hair or body care products of your choice when you add it to your trial this is one of the best offers that you will see get it before it's gone look good feel good play good you know the motto here at chat sports all right Trey Lynch trade rumors one of the biggest talking points right now across the NFL why is that a lot of people are talking about a Trey Lance trade because of the play of Brock Purdy and the play of Brock Purdy forcing San Francisco to reassess what the quarterback position looks like in 2023. And for Purdy, he has been awesome, including the postseason. He's been on the field for 445 snaps in his NFL career. He is 6-0 as a starter. He's completed more than 66% of his passes with a total of 16 touchdowns to four interceptions, and he has averaged eight and a half yards per attempt, number one in the NFL during that span with a great pass rating of 111. As for Trey Lance, his play doesn't compare to what Purdy's been able to show. 
in 262 total snaps in his NFL career. He's only 2-2. Two and two. His completion percentage, sub-55%, five touchdowns, three picks, 7.8 yards per attempt with a passer rating of 84.5. Here, folks, the eye test does not fool you. Brock Purdy has been the better quarterback than Trey Lance. Now, you can point to the play calling for Purdy being a little bit better than Trey Lance because Shanahan used Lance as a runner more than a passer oftentimes. But was he calling plays like that because he worried about Lance's accuracy? He worried about calling those similar plays that Lance could not complete and execute as compared to Purdy. And Shanahan even said that Purdy and myself right now, we're seeing the game eye to eye. And when Tim Kawakami says something like this, a longtime respected Bay Area sports writer, it has you thinking, right, about the future of Lance and the future of Purdy. Purdy has done more than enough, Kawakami said, in just over a month of brilliant play to lock himself in as the team's presumed starting quarterback going into the offseason, training camp, the 2023 regular season, and probably a lot longer than that. And a lot of people, when talking about this subject matter, will say, well, giving up on Trey Lance was an awful move. I actually disagree. The 49ers had concerns at the time about Jimmy Garoppolo's injury history, how long he'd be able to hold up, and once again, those injury concerns reared its ugly head this season. And, and they took a chance on a quarterback in Trey Lance with stupid talent, a lot of ability, and an unlimited ceiling. If Trey Lance can't play, he can't play. And missing on Trey Lance is fine. Businesses have to be aggressive. Sometimes businesses take chances, and sometimes they swing and miss, unlike Barry Bonds in the Bay Area. And if the 49ers hit on Brock Purdy, it's okay because he can be the team's starting quarterback. And I guarantee you this. Teams across the NFL in need of a quarterback will take a chance on Trey Lance this upcoming offseason given his potential being limitless. Trey Lance still has a lot of trade value. He is still 22 years old. He turns 23 in May. He's very affordable with two years remaining on his contract plus his fifth-year option, adding a third year to that deal if it works out for the acquiring team. Trey Lance would only cost his new team $9.1 million over the next two years. The Niners would have to take on a dead cap hit charge of $11 million. And this coming from a former NFL executive that he thinks the 49ers could probably get a second round pick and maybe something else in exchange for Trey Lance. I'm telling you right now, teams like Washington, teams like Tennessee, who just hired Rand Carthen as their new general manager, formerly the director of pro personnel for San Francisco, are going to look at Trey Lance in their evaluations and think about maybe trading for him because he's 6'4", 225 with a really strong arm. He has mobility. When he's been on the field, he's completed and made some really nice throws. He can take the top off of the defense. You can run a little RPO with him. He's affordable. He's still young. And teams get really, really stubborn when it comes to developing quarterbacks. And teams out there have a hope that they can develop Trey Lance so that he can live up to the expectations of being that number three overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. And if the Niners get another pick back, that's now 12 picks upcoming in the 2023 NFL Draft. I'd be tempted, but two young quarterbacks in Purdy and Lance on the rookie deals, that is not too shabby. That's not a bad problem to have either. All right, let's round out with this. Ian Rappaport, quickly want to touch on this. We'll probably expand on it on future shows, saying something very interesting here. He said that if D'Amico Ryans were to get a head coaching job elsewhere, that Vic Fangio is a potential replacement for D'Amico Ryans. This is something that we're going to continue to talk about over the next couple of weeks, maybe months, if D'Amico Ryans were to leave. If Ryans comes back to the Bay Area, great. You have one of the best defensive coordinators in the sport. If he does leave, you can get maybe the most sought-after option at D.C. in Vic Fangio back to the Bay Area to team up with Kyle Shanahan on this coaching staff. He did interview with the Atlanta Falcons for their D.C. spot, but San Francisco, certainly a better spot for Vic Fangio. He's currently a consultant with the Philadelphia Eagles. Another reminder, subscribe to the show. Not only do we give you daily Niners content, news, rumors, analysis, live shows, but also watch parties. And speaking of watch parties, we'll be live on Sunday. Divisional round matchup, one of the best non-divisional rivalries in the history of football. It's the San Francisco 49ers playing host to the Dallas Cowboys. Can't wait to see you then. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for making today's show part of your day.